Question number 82 is from modern physics and it has been drawn from photoelectric effect. It's again a very straightforward formula based question. Radiation of this wavelength is incident on a photocell. The fastest emitted electron has speed v. So in the first case you would get one half m v square would be h c by lambda minus phi where phi is the walk function. Now the question says if the wavelength is changed to 3 lambda by 4, the speed of fastest electron will be. So in the second case, the fastest electron speed, call it as V dash, would be h c by the wavelength now is 3 lambda by 4 and minus of walk function. Now this is a very simple question to solve. These two simultaneous equations you can solve and you would easily get the result V dash as greater than V. 4 by 3 raised to the power half. So that will give us the correct option as option number 4. As I said, it was a very straight, direct formula based question and that finishes question number 82 as well. Let's move to question number 83. Question number 83, a small formula based question and that has been taken from simple harmonic motion. You could see that so far majority of the question they are directly formula based and that is one of the characteristic feature of JE main examination. So if you are preparing for this particular examination maybe these all the discussion and the question is giving you a fair idea about what should be the level of preparation like. Now here a particle performs SHM with amplitude A and its speed is traveled when at 2A by 3 from equilibrium. So first of all what would be the speed at 2a by 3 from equilibrium omega root a square minus 4a square by 9 because the formula speed at any distance would be omega root a square minus x square you may write and that comes out to be root 5 by 3 times of omega a this is the speed at this particular distance but suddenly maybe by any cause a sharp impulse might have been given the speed becomes trebled so now what would be the new speed at the same position that's root 5 times omega a. So here you could see this is the new value of speed but the position is same and we need to calculate the new amplitude. So it would be something like this omega root a dash square is the new amplitude minus of the position so that's same 4a square by 9. Let's try to say this omega cancels and to solve this we'll square both sides 5a square is a square a dash square minus of 4 a square by 9 and I get a dash square is this would come this side and that would be 45 plus 4 is 49 a square divided by 9 and the new value of amplitude would be 7a by 3. That gives us option number 3 but to give you more extensive idea it's something like this if I take an example of spring pendulum it was something like this that it was oscillating within this range but this time when it reached a certain distance which is 2a by 3 a sharp impulse was given. So suddenly at this given position it acquires a new velocity so clearly it would be going to a larger value of amplitude that's the physical interpretation of that but yes we got option number three as the correct answer that was for question number 83 now we'll move to question number 84. Question number 84 is from rotational motion and the concept regarding angular momentum has been asked there is a square of side a where a particle moves along the sides anti-clockwise as shown by the direction of velocity and the speed is v and the question says which of the following statement is false we need to see the false statement for angular momentum vector about o now the first thing say when it is moving from c to d so when it moves from c to d let's first see the angular momentum magnitude that would be mv into perpendicular distance is r by root 2 all right, this distance is given as r and this angle is 45 degree. That's also a part of question. Do not worry on that part. So from c to d, you could see 
the perpendicular distance from here, the perpendicular distance between the momentum vector and origin is r by root 2 plus e. But here the distance itself is written in minus form. So this is wrong value and we need to choose the false. So that's the case. Unfortunately, for this particular question, there are two options. And let's try to see that. First, let's go with the option number two verification from B to C. The perpendicular distance is r by root 2 again plus e. So this magnitude part is right. And let's try to see the direction from B to C. R vector is here. Momentum vector is here. So r cross p would be outside, which is k cat. So this is a right value. So we'll not be choosing this. Now let's go to third option. From D to A, when it comes from D to A, the perpendicular distance is r by root 2. So the magnitude part is correct. Let's try to see the direction. When it comes from D to A, you just see this is the r vector and D to A, this is the velocity vector. So r cross p, the screw would go inside, which is minus k cap. However, the direction given is plus k cap. So this is a wrong value and we need to choose the false. So this would also be the choice. Fourth, similarly, you can verify. As I've already said, this is the question where inadvertently there are two possible options which have crept into. So that is question number 84. Now we'll move to the next question, question number 85.